Tom is down 925. Welcome back into Live at 9. Imagine being diagnosed with ALS, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's all at the same time. Well, that's exactly what happens when doctors tell a patient they have Huntington's disease. And like other others, this brain disease has no cure. Amy Abbott joined the growing list of advocates for those with Huntington's when her husband was diagnosed years ago. She joins us now live this morning to discuss that and how we can all help join in this fight together. Amy, thank you so much for being with us here on Live at 9 this morning. Just reading over that itself is enough to cause shock and alarm. Your husband had a thriving music career um, and then your family was dealt a blow. Walk us uh, back through that. Absolutely. Um, so my husband was a drummer in two different bands, Fuel and Breaking Point. And after leaving the bands, he was an entrepreneur. He owned his own small business. And so in 2014, his, uh, so let me give you a little back history about his family. So his grandmother was diagnosed with Huntington's disease. His father was diagnosed with Huntington's disease. And he and both of his siblings have Huntington's disease. So after um, his brother-in-law actually committed suicide in 2014 as a result of this disease, um, my husband got diagnosed in 2015. You mentioned the genetic history. Part of this, I understand, is that while there are symptomatic patients and folks out there living with Huntington's, there are also thousands that have no idea they have this, but it's a touchy thing. Maybe people want to know, don't want to know. Um, what was that like for your husband? And what are you, what do you all recommend now, now that you're in the, the seat of advocacy, so to speak? Right. Uh, so it is often misdiagnosed, you're correct, because it does show symptoms of, like you said, Parkinson's, ALS, and Alzheimer's. Um, and I'll be honest, my husband really didn't want to know. Uh, but after the tragedy with my brother-in-law, um, we felt that it was really important that we get a diagnosis, whether it was positive or negative. Um, a lot of irrational decisions can be made, and we had a small business that we were running, and so um, he went ahead and got tested. And after it was a positive diagnosis, then he relinquished all rights to the business, um, and I have been running the businesses ever since. And that's something, so can people also get genetic testing uh, to look for markers and things like that as well? They can, and there's a neurologist here in Memphis that specifically deals with Huntington's disease. There's also a center of excellence um, specifically dealing with Huntington's disease in Nashville and Birmingham. So yes, there is a genetic test that can be done. It's a blood test. and. In about four weeks after you get the test, you're, you will get the results. So care right here at home. Um, tell me a little bit more about how your husband Jody's doing right now. Um, well, some days are good and some days are not. He currently lives in an assisted living facility. Um, so I would highly recommend anyone um, getting long-term care insurance because he was unable to do that. And uh, we are currently paying out of pocket for his care which is extremely um, costly. So um, financial burdens come upon families with Huntington's disease um, and it's it's a struggle. Um, he's, he's getting the best care possible and he's in the safest place for him and the safest place for us right now. And I know that's important to you and your family. Well, you are sharing your story uh, to raise awareness and money for Team Hope. Uh, tell us more about that and there's actually an event coming up uh, in a few weeks that, that people can participate in, learn more about. Um, share that with us, if you will. Absolutely. So um, my role, I feel like, um, in dealing with Huntington's disease is to be an advocate and to help other families not feel that they are alone. Um, it's a huge impact on families, and it's devastating. So uh, I wanted to bring a walk to Memphis, and we are hosting the walk on September 4th from one to three at Hardy Academy, um, just to raise awareness and knowledge and be an advocate and raise money to hopefully find a cure. Team Memphis Hope Walk, September 4th. The information's right there on your screen at Harding Academy, starts at one o'clock. Um, Amy, thank you so much for being with us this morning and for sharing uh, your husband and your, your family story and helping to raise awareness about Huntington's. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity uh, and I hope to see you there. All right, thank you, Amy.